First, I want to thank my patrons for making my work possible. Welcome to Giza in Egypt. The topic of this video is going to be a controversial one. The question is if Khufu was really built at the latitude of the speed of light. We will try to answer this hotly debated question as best as we can in a probabilistic way. Is it coincidence that the latitude of Khufu is so close to the speed of light? It could be coincidence. However, is coincidence really an option if the digits match so amazingly well? Most of us already know that Khufu was not built by an Egyptian pharaoh. The sculpture was not capable to build something large like Khufu or to cut granite so smoothly straight like the coffins and amazing straight granite walls that we find inside the pyramids. The culture of the pharaohs just found the pyramids and claimed this as their own achievements. It is very well possible that large slave forces of the pharaohs uncovered the pyramids from desert sand, which alone could have been a superhuman effort. That could be the source of the tales of slaves and large achievements. But the pyramids were already there, many thousands of years before the pharaoh families came along. Giza has inspired thousands of people to do their own research. Efforts for trying to find hidden mathematical patterns, hidden in the structures and its arrangement. And there are so many patterns to find that this is definitely not something coincidental. Were these patterns put in a structure for a reason? Yes, they probably are. And the reason seems to be obvious. If you want a resonance sort of machine to function, it has to be built conform the laws of nature. And in nature we find only mathematical patterns because the fabric of nature is purely mathematical. And that is why it is logical that such a device contains only mathematical patterns. And if you keep looking well enough, you will find ever newer patterns. You might even find scientific constants that are even not yet discovered. What makes this topic so interesting is that Snopes also jumped on this topic. They say the claim is false. And the arguments they use will be sufficient for most people. Snopes says the following. This rating indicates that the primary elements of a claim are demonstrably false. They simply ignore the fact that one of the most impressive ancient buildings ever built in the world is numerically built close to one of the most important constants in the universe. Their counter-arguments are extremely weak. They build their argumentation around the dogmatic so-called historical facts. And by doing so, nothing is really debunked. History is not scientific, it is a set of narratives. And so it cannot be used to debunk numerical and mathematical facts. But this is something that most people don't understand and follow the advice of Snopes. What does it mean when the claim is true? It means a lot, because the current mainstream paradigm collapses like a house of cards. We thoroughly peeled off this topic bit by bit and it's very interesting what we discovered. The first thing to look at is the exact location of the claim. What is the exact latitude of Khufu? When you look at Khufu and Google Earth, you will find out that when the satellite took photos of this region, it was not exactly above Giza, but a little more to the south. So when you locate the peak of Khufu, you do not locate the center of Khufu. The center of this most magnificent structure on Earth 
is not at this latitude I show here, which is numerically similar to the speed of light, but at this latitude I show here. According to the rounding rules is this number rounded to this number, as well as this number is also rounded to this number. The last two to three digits do not really count because they are in the margin of error. What counts is the location I show here, 29.9792, which is very close to the center of Kuvu. And this is also numerically very close to the speed of light. Is this coincidence? The numerical match is simply astonishing. At first hand, there seems to be very little space for coincidence, just 0.00011%. However, this number is not correct. It needs some adjustments. Besides the speed of light, there are more important constants. Constants like pi, c, the speed of light in a vacuum, e, the natural logarithm, phi, the golden ratio, that makes the incredible latitudinal match with the speed of light suddenly not to look so coincidental anymore. How large are the odds that such a match can be just coincidental? The question that we could ask is also, why would one build such a massive structure here in the middle of nowhere? Why there and why not here? Or here? Or here? Unless it is for a reason, and a very good reason. Is this massive device built to be a message as well? And for that we have to dig a little deeper. And because we were already digging for many years, we discovered this. Did you know that the ancient latitude of Teotihuacan, which was oriented to pole 3, was also close to this latitude? Its latitude was also rounded to 29.9 degrees. And that is an intriguing discovery because the pyramid configurations have similarities as well. We think the Teotihuacan was Giza's predecessor, built between 240,000 and 270,000 years ago. Giza cannot be older than 26,000 years because of its cardinal orientation. the probability of Khufu's latitude. Is it coincident or not? For that we have to dig a little bit deeper. The most important constants that are discovered until now are limited to around 26. And we have three pyramids on the Bizet plateau. Also, we find three other major constants in Khufu, pi, phi and e. So if we consider all these parameters, we find the probability of the claim to be a whopping 99.997%. The claim is not like Snopes says false. No, the claim is most probably true. But the African plate on which the pyramids are located moved over these thousands of years as well. In fact, all the crustal plates have been relatively steady since the last crustal deformation cycle stopped. African plate rotated only some 0.0167 degrees over the last four and a half thousand years. And after we performed the math, we found that the numerical match with the speed of light has not this number as a match, but this number as a match. So the probability of the claim is actually declining and when Giza will be around 12 and a half thousand years old, like many more serious researchers, the probability of the claim drops even further. In the most worst case scenario, the claim drops to 99.71%, which is still very high regarding the downsizing of the claim we have already done. Snopes is trying to keep like a sort of gatekeeper the paradigm of the establishment intact. Their claims have nothing to do with scientific research or scientific curiosity. 
The claim is most probably true, and this has many implications. These implications are hard to oversee at first glance. Many things like the meter, the speed of light, the second, the degree, the decimal system, the circumference of the Earth, and last but not least, global positioning up to 5 meters accurate, were already discovered before. And that is incredible. They are rediscovered throughout the last centuries by modern men. There was apparently a civilization before us that knew all these things already. We simply lost his knowledge and slowly gained this back. If you have questions or remarks, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.